How do you start your classes? What do you do the minute the student walks into your class, right? The learner is now in class. What do you do? I know you have classes all through the day, right? Sometimes you have classes maybe half day. But how do you promote learning the first five minutes the learner is in your classroom? What do you do to spark their interest? What do you do to motivate them? What do you do to challenge them? Now, it's either you're doing that activity to reinforce what they've learned before, or you're doing that activity to promote what you're going to learn today, or you're doing this a completely unrelated activity to the topic of the day, but, but also to challenge and to motivate them, right? The essence is to make sure the students and the learners get thinking the moment they step into your class regardless of where you teach regardless of how demotivating or motivating the environment or school you teach is you need to become the factor in that school that makes the school motivating you need to become that teacher in that school that helps the students to aspire again you need to be that teacher in that school that from the way you start your lessons you're raising the aspirations of students you're raising their 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 their, their, their sparking their interest and then you're also making them interested to learn you're also raising self-esteem this in at the same time now one of the ways to make sure that you have engaging classes engaging sessions with students in your classroom is to know how to start your lessons you need to understand that the way you start your lessons as soon as uh, the learners get into your class and you're getting them to think right from the start that is the way that you would sustain attention in the lesson it is important that you have a purposeful start to every lesson as soon as students get into your class they are thinking now I've seen people start uh, using a mix of activities I've seen people do a plethora of things to start their lessons and it really mustn't start when they come into the classroom it can also start from the door because one of the things you want to do as, as a as a teacher is to make sure that you motivate the learner some teachers I see them stand at the door to greet students as they walk into the class hi James I'm calling them by their first name hi Michael how are you today welcome to class hi Jane hi welcome to class just that activity because that's also an activity standing by the door to greet the students the learners as they go into the class that's something I see some 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 great teachers also do I've seen teachers use music to start their lessons if, if you teach in a place where you have an interactive board where you have a, a screen and you can you can play music as soon as the lesson as soon as the students are kept coming into class there's music at the background something motivational something that starts them off some of them will come into the class even dancing as soon as they hear that music playing you know what we, i've seen i've seen educators do that i've seen people also when they teach in primary schools that would uh, put, put like a cardboard somewhere and if, if a student touches like maybe a high five they'll give them a high five if a student touches like they'll draw like all these things and if a student touches like the heart or a hug they'll give them a hug just something to start the day something to start the, the kids up something to make sure that the learners are engaged and motivated as soon as they're coming into your class how you start a class really really matters it's key to how you sustain attention It's key to how you help the learners learn in the class how do you start your lessons what do you do because just starting a lesson well can reinforce learning you can have starter questions that reinforces the, the things they've learned before in a previous class. You can have starter questions that is also going to tie into what you're about to teach for that day. You can have starter questions that is going to just help the students think right off the bat as soon as they get into your class. Now, these starter questions might be related to the topic, related to a previous topic, or not related at all. It might be a redo. It might be something, just a redo. It might be a puzzle, something simple. Now remember, starter activities, whether it's a question, a quiz, you standing at the door, whatever you choose to do in the mix to start your lessons must be something light, not something that overwhelms the students, not something that overwhelms the learner. It's important you understand that. Just something for the first five minutes that starts them off very well. Something to make them think. Something to give them that urge to learn. Something to motivate them. Something to sustain their interest in learning. And let me tell you something. If you start your lessons well, 
you will have engaged students all through. How are you going to start your next lesson? I understand that sometimes you have to teach the whole day. Am I going to start every lesson for the whole day? Yes, because if you have different students coming into your class for different lessons, you have to start every lesson in, in, in a new way. You have to be motivating. You have to be uh, that teacher that, that is innovative. You need to look for ways. You know, what, what's going to be your unique style to start in your lessons? It mustn't be one thing you do for the whole term. It might be today you do this and this week you do the other one. Students want to come into a class with a teacher that is motivating. No student wants to come into a class that has a grumpy teacher. No student wants to come into a class that has a teacher that just feels like, you know what, the reward, I don't, I don't get rewarded for this job and you know, all the, listen, students don't even know what you're going through or growing through. All they care about is the fact that there's somebody that is going to teach them today, that's going to raise their aspiration, that's going to motivate them and how you start your lesson matters a lot right it's important that as a teacher you begin to find ways to start lessons well you need to have purposeful starts to every lesson how do you keep students engaged in the class because as soon as they're in class they must be learning and they mustn't learn just what you teach them they, 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 your starter questions and your starter activities can just teach them life skills it can teach them something else it can teach them teamwork it can be a group activity it can be something that as soon as they come into the class they're doing now you might be teaching in in scenarios where you have technology so you can do like a, a kahoot quiz you can you can do like a teams thing you might be teaching in, in situations where you don't have no technology you might have to print something on paper to start your lessons off you might be teaching in situations where you have to write on the board to write a start a question on the board a blackboard using chalk if, if regardless of the divide you find yourself the, the onus lies on you as the educator to start lessons off well how do you start that lesson um, that you're going to teach after you watch this video what would you do to start the next lesson with a great purpose it is how you start a lesson that will sustain that lesson it is how you start a lesson that will motivate students to learn it is how you start a lesson that will motivate students to stay learning this is how you start a lesson that will engage the student you have to be the educator that knows how to start their lesson so what would you do research has proven that having students engage as soon as they come into class is a great way to sustain attention is a great way to motivate learners is a great way to reinforce learning it's a great way to get students to think what would you do for your next class how would you start your next class would you use a starter question would you use a quiz very short maybe two questions would you use a puzzle would you do a redo would you play music would you greet them at the door would you what would you do that would be different from what you've been doing before to start your next lesson every lesson that any great educator has with their students must have a purposeful start so go on the next lesson and have a purposeful start to that lesson if you need ideas, if you want me to speak to you and kind of talk to you on how to engage your learners, we can have that conversation. But remember that a great educator is that educator that know how to instantly engage their students and get them thinking as soon as they come into the classroom. This is a thankless job, but this is a global job. And we are educators. We were born to do this global is possible. My name is Zion. I am your teacher friend. Bye-bye.